Many thanks, Alicia, for that report. Well, let's take you now to Davos, Switzerland, where the annual World Economic Forum opened on Wednesday with the backdrop of anxieties over trade disputes, Brexit, and a growth slowdown that some fear could tip the world economy. Let's take a quick listen in on some of the latest updates. Thousand businesses, government, and ordinary citizens are meeting in the Swiss city of Davos this week. Klaus Schwab, the founder of the World Economic Forum, says that strengthening global cooperation is a must for the world economy, which has experienced a slow and uneven recovery since the global financial crisis in 2008. I think we are walking on relatively thin ice because uh, as our uh, global risk report, which we published uh, some days ago, has shown there are many threats to the global economy. I think it's very important to strengthen global cooperation. That's what we want to achieve here in Davos. The WEF's own global risks report set the tone this week with a stark warning of a looming economic downturn, in part because of geopolitical tensions among major powers. Several world leaders stayed away, including U.S. President Donald Trump, who's grappling with the country's longest government shutdown in U.S. history. But his Secretary of State Mike Pompeo addressed anxieties over a trade dispute with China during a video conference. There are those who say that uh, conflict, superpower conflict between our two countries is inevitable. Uh, we don't see it that way. Uh, we want to find places where we can work together. Pompeo stressed that cooperation between the two countries can only work if some conditions are met. Free and open uh, seas, the capacity for nations to take their goods around the world, fair and reciprocal trade arrangements where every country has the opportunity to compete on a fair, transparent and open basis. Another leader who didn't attend was British Prime Minister Theresa May, who survived a no-confidence vote after her Brexit withdrawal agreement was recently rejected. An issue of concern for this attendee. I think if we get a hard Brexit, the consequences are such that it will be a major disruption, and I think it's very difficult to prepare for that. So we're really hoping for and banking on the fact that the people will come to their senses and that we will have regimes that, that, will, that will ensure that we can continue uh, the way that we're doing today. While economic growth is slowing, the aid charity Oxfam warned the Davos elite that in